Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review. Now this is the Workos WK30, comes in this box. Now they do have an Amazon store, and they wanted me to test it and review it here for you guys. So let's wait no further, let's open it up and see what's in. And we have one user manual. This is in multi languages, but there's only a small area for each language here. So this is English going across here. So we're going to go ahead and concentrate on these specs here. Now, as you can see, there's multicolored LEDs in this one light. So now, if you need more time to read those, go ahead and pause your screen. Otherwise, Let's move on. And we have a lanyard here with two O-rings in here as well. You have an 18650 battery adapter. So you can run an 18650 in here. It does come with a battery, a 26650. So it's complete kit. USB charging cable here. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the light. There it is. Now the one thing I notice here that they've really increased their quality. Now this here is real smooth on the body, so may slip out of your hand if you're wearing gloves, so you want to be careful of that. Show it up close. Does have some heat sink in here. There's the USB charging port here. And this does fit in here nice and snug. Keep from getting water in there. Style and design is very nice, very compact. Small enough for everyday carry. Yeah, the machining and finish on this is excellent. Really have done a good job on this. Last couple of lights that I've done for them, they really have stepped up their game. I want to reiterate that to you again. They're really putting out a nice quality light, especially for the price. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the three smooth reflectors in there. As you can see there, it's a red LED here. Main LED is Samsung, and that's a Cree. I'll put all those model numbers here on the bottom of the screen. That way you know what they are. Very much a multi-use flashlight. That looks really sharp. Button here just barely sticks out of the body. Yeah, that's really an interesting, definitely unique. So let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you the battery that it comes with. It does have a little protection piece in here. Make sure you remove that. There's the spring on the tail. It's got some grease here on the threads, so that's good. And I'll show you the head of the light. 
well greased threads on there spring on the head alright put all this back together I'll show you the battery next okay so now this is an unprotected 5000 milliamp cell 26650 20 amps on this going to give you a lot of power and good run time on these particular LEDs it's really nice that they include this with this kit adds a lot of value to it and you're getting this kit here for a very affordable price go ahead and put this back together and we'll go ahead and go through the UI make sure it's all tight now we'll go over the different LEDs in the UI. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. First one, of course, you've got your battery level indicator. This will turn red, start to blink when they recommend you to charge it. We're on the main LED here, as you can see. More on the floody appearance there. And then all you have to do is just click through those light outputs. A lot of light coming out of here going to be more on the floody side because it's not there is a centralized hotspot it's really a lot of bleeding into the spill so it'll be interesting how this does I can tell right away it's going to be more on the floody side and then it goes right back down you're on the lowest setting now when you want to get to the LED that is red or the UV since it's the second LED, you'll hit it twice on the button, three times to get the UV. So we're going to go ahead and get to the red LED here. One, two. Turns on the red LED. Once it's on, you can just simply click on it to go through those light outputs. Phenomenal light output on this when I was testing it earlier. Same beam pattern as the regular LED. As you can see, look at that hot spot. So this red LED is probably going to have some good throw on it. All right. Then of course, click it back down, goes to the lowest level, turn it off. Now we're going to click the button three times, one, two, three. Now we have the ultraviolet light on there. That's pretty low at this point. And the color of the LED changes as well go through those light outputs. It's only two levels on the ultraviolet. Really strong beam pattern. Glad I'm able to see it on the camera. See it does have a centralized hot spot. Really nice large spill area. So we'll see how that does. Of course click that again. Press and hold. Now you're going to, there's the main LED. Clicking at one time press and hold one two gets you red press and hold one two three will get you to ultraviolet press and hold so all you have to do is remember that really nice easy to use on the UI which is actually pretty impressive so now we're going to go back to the main LED now when you want strobe you just double click on that side switch on the main LED, that'll get your strobe. Double click again, or you can click it one time, it'll go back to the regular UI. And you're back in business. Alright. Really amazing little setup there, definitely unique. Nice to have all those LEDs for different options. You may be into some type of private investigator or you're in need of hunting or something this basically has everything you need in one light and it's small and compact it fits right in your hand all right so now we're going to test all the LEDs see how they do in the wilderness all right we are out here in the darkness with the Warcos WK30 so we're going to go ahead and get started on this here. And I'm going to 
use the red light first. There's a the red light there. Easily see 35 feet to that water spout. Kind of show you there on the fence. We're going to go to the next level. You see really nice intensity on this red beam. It's got that nice hot spot. So let's check it out. And it is faintly making the tree of life. Now I could see this with my eyes. So that's impressive. Go ahead. It's got one more level up from here. Sixty-five feet to that tree there. The thing really does an outstanding job. Alright, we're gonna go to the next level here. See how bright that is? We'll do a beam profile. Faintly making it across the park with red light. That's crazy. Again, 35 feet. That water spout. Now we can see it. the beam is on the tree of life now. Moving around. 138 feet with a red beam like this. <laughs> Here's a before. After. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and turn on the next light here. We've got the dogs going crazy here. So we're going to go ahead and go down from here. And we're going to click it three times for the ultraviolet. Okay, so now we got it on the ultraviolet light. And as you can see, my shoes, <laughs> and my pants. So, kind of give you an idea. So we're going to go ahead and go up on the next highest output here. You can really see my feet now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Kind of see some... Interesting how that is. Really nice range on this. Kind of see that white object way out there. That's probably about 15, 20 feet from where I'm standing. So that's impressive. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and turn on the regular LED. Got it ready to go. It is faintly on there. So you can see how floody this beam is. I shine it around here, see up close, probably about 20 feet, respectively, usable that is. Okay, now we're going to go up to the next level. Really nice wide beam, very floody, 65 feet that tree there. There it is on the fence. Trying to pan around here. And we're going to go up to the next level here. Wow. It's incredible. Before. After. A lot of light coming out of this, 138 feet to that tree, and it is faintly making it real floody. Very impressive. And there's the highest output. We'll do a beam profile here. Very impressive beam. A 
A lot of light coming out of this. Really nice, floody beam. There it is on the Tree of Life. Before and after. Really a lot of the uses you can use this light for. Impressive. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the special modes the manufacturer wanted me to show those to you. So we're going to go ahead and do it now. So you got strobe and it's pulsating real fast, speeds up, slows down. And of course, click it again. You got the SOS. And then finally, you have beacon. And back strobe. Press and hold to turn that off. And to lock out this light, four clicks on the side switch. One, two, three, four. So now, when you click on it, it's only going to blink twice. One, two, three, four. Unlocks the light, and you're back in business. All right. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Really impressed with this. The Samsung LED that this uses reminds me a lot of the Cree XP-G3 LED in performance. It's got a real nice floody beam on that. This being also a multicolored LED as well as that UV in there. Really has a lot of uses for this light especially depending on what type of work you do. And the red LED helps you save your night vision. So it's really nice, it has multi-level outputs on there. Really nice range on this, especially on the red and the ultraviolet light. Was very impressive. Could not believe that it actually throws out that far. Probably some of the best UV performance I've ever seen on a light. A lot of my ones that I have on my other lights, some of the lights I've tested in the past with the UV and the red LEDs, they have just a blob. You know, they're not really a nice focused beam pattern on that. They're just not very well done. Uh, they work, but sometimes you got to kind of move the light around to get it to focus in on stuff. This here is already ready to go, and it's got a good beam performance on every single one of these LEDs. Got to take my hats off to this Warcos light. Really, WK30, this is a complete flashlight kit. Really can't go wrong with this if you're needing a multicolored LED light. Also, don't forget, you can run it on 18650. It's going to give you, you know, pretty good run times if you use a quality cell. But this 26650 cell in this, it's going to do really well for it. Well, I want to thank Workos for sending me this again to review. If this is something you are interested in getting, I'll leave a link in the description down below. They have an Amazon store. You'll be able to pick this up, get it shipped to you quickly. All right, well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these Workos lights to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.